previously on I Survived, the Japanese game show. Shazin! The soccer mom was sent back to the outnumbered Green Tigers. I can't even believe that they would give us Kathy. Oh! In soccer time with Grandpa, the Green Tigers were led by their newest teammate. Right. Yeah! While the red robots looked lost. Where am I? That was good. Win out, Green Tigers! Soccer is my thing. No! In the second game, the red robots found themselves in a very sticky situation. I have never felt anything this sticky. While well, the Green Tigers cleared more balls to clinch the victory. Yay! Their prize? A trip to Yamamoto. Bye. For the best sake and beef in Japan. Amazing. Meanwhile, the red robots suffered as they harvested slimy seaweed. It is disgusting. Back at the house, Jamie and Drew's undercover relationship. So you guys think that the two of us should go in because we've gotten too close? Made them a target. I can't trust you guys. And they ended up competing in a dramatic elimination game. Drew, hurry up! Where the bittersweet win went to... Jamie! Sending Drew back to America. Tonight, seven hopefuls remain on the craziest show in the world. Yeah. In the end, only one will get the glory. A quarter of a million dollars. And the honor of being able to say, I survived the Japanese game show. Whoa! People are getting loose. Yeah, this, this is a hard game. So and also hard. Hard. I know. Yeah. This win is definitely bittersweet. Drew, I'll see you back at home. Hang out, catch up, and I'll have all that nice money. Take you out to a nice steak dinner. See you later. Bye-bye. Right. See you guys. Yeah. Action. I'm just so pissed right now. Drew's gone, the one person I actually trusted in this freaking house. It's done. I feel everyone turned on me, so my two teammates, Dan and Justin, are the two that I would love to see go home next at this point. Good job, hey, Jamie. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Good job. Thanks. Jamie, you rocked that. It sucks. I know it does, Sorry. Jamie. Since me and Dan aligned to put Jamie and Drew into elimination, I feel very responsible for sending Drew home. You did so good, and I know it sucks, but you'll see in the end that this is better. That means... This guy is the ringleader of the Red Robots. I still want it to be the three of us in the end. That's me. But... No offense, but I'm not believing I honestly haven't lied to you at all in this game. I, I said, know. I, yeah. I, I love you, but I, I just, again, yeah. I... Now, I'm just like, I have like snakes around me. And I just gotta keep eliminating them one at a time until I get that money in the end. While both teams have returned to the guest house, the red robots are still focused on the drama of the day. If you isolate yourselves and I ask you questions and you change the subject, yeah. there's something shady there. And what? if something. I'm listening to all this and I think it's comical. It's comical? <laughs> Honestly, like what? Come I'll say here. it if then you tell want to. Tell me, talk I, I would it. like to hear. I don't think we you in any aspect. Yeah, did we get along? Yeah, but that had nothing to do with. Shh. Listen, listen. And if we isolated our, ourselves, sorry. I didn't feel left out of your relationship. I felt left out on the team. And when someone isolates themselves, it could make you think that it's to plot against you. If Justin is jealous of like the whole like me and Drew being close thing, get the hell over it. I didn't know if I could trust you guys because we talked together so openly, and then it just felt a little more shut out. The Red Robots, their team is just a train wreck. They don't trust each other. I love this. It's a new day in Japan, and Tokyo's famous cherry blossoms are in full bloom. But for the Americans, there's no time to smell the flowers, as they must get ready for the next team game. <gasps> Inner oh, oh, 
I need water to get these suckers on. I mean, this is awesome. Day at the beach with Moshi Day. I used to be a lifeguard. What do you need? You need the butterfly? You need the backstroke? I can do freestyle. This is my challenge. Woo, these are tight. I haven't swam since I was like 12. No, uh Not kidding. I don't like swimming at all, and I'm a little bit concerned about showing off my legs, and I'm pretty sure America's not gonna like it. Party up, party up, party up. Game time, game time. Game time. The Green Tigers, we are pumped up with Drew missing. We're definitely feeling like they're missing their team leader. So the red robots are kind of right where we want them. Red Robots are ready to go. We're ready to win. I'm hoping Jamie can get over her drama and help us win today. The Red Robots have got to win. Welcome to Mazda! Judge Bob, he's wise and talented. You cannot fool him. His eyes like a hawk, but his brain like a pigeon. <laughs> so, very important. When you win the first team game, you will get a huge advantage for the next game. <laughs> first team game is very cool and refreshing. Like summer breeze in South Pole. I'm nervous at this point. I have no idea what the challenge is going to be. Let's open! <laughs> Rome unveils the tank. It's filled with ice. It's filled with squid and fish that are frozen. I am grossed out. This game title is Gokkan de Kinkyo! In Brain Freeze Fish Breath, team members will take turns bobbing for frozen fish in ice-filled tanks. They must collect as many fish as possible using only their mouths. The team with the most fish after two and a half minutes wins the game and a huge advantage. Oh, I got one. Red Robots, are you ready? Yeah! Green Tigers, are you ready? Yeah! Dead fish, are you ready? Let's go! Yeah. Jamie and Linda lead off. Let's see how long they can take it. It's really cold. Look at that. It is freezing cold. It is insane. Like, you feel like your whole head is just going to be like, and like fall off. It's that freaking cold. Jamie, tackle it out. Trust me, you're going to get into 